Hey guys. hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 3 Generations Episode 8. Oh yeah, Episode 8. So in the last episode, you know, we just had a party and shit. And now, we're just, you know... Fran Florencia, she uh, grew up. Yeah. Florencia really is not happy. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Julieta is really not happy. Look at her. I gave, like I showed you guys in the last episode 7, I made, gave her a makeover. And uh, this is her new look. I decided to go redhead with her this time because, you know, my friend didn't like it, but I did. So, uh, you know, redhead is pretty cool. Raise your hands if you're a redhead in the house. She wants to wish for happiness. And how I know she's not happy? Look what she's watching. Let me see what she got here. She don't have that. Okay. Yeah, look what she's watching. Do you see what she's watching? She's watching the Love Channel. And when she get a wish like this, I know what she's thinking. It kept on popping up. Wish for love. Wish for love. Wish for love. And I was like, no, you don't need love. You got Mitchell. But now it's all more clear. She doesn't love Mitchell. She doesn't love him. This right here is a fake pickup. A fake one. She only wanted to marry him because she's feeling left out in the family. She's feeling she's not loved. She's feeling that she's all alone. And she's feeling that she's getting old and she should have a child by now. She's jealous of her sister Amber. And she keeps on trying to get D'Angelo to like her. Like her as a girlfriend. And D'Angelo will break up with Amber. But D'Angelo is firmly committed to Amber. And he's never going to do that. So Amber, I mean, um, Julietta is like... Mitchell is a good guy, but he's not my type. I'll just marry him just to marry him and get pregnant with his child and break up with him. But I ain't gonna do that to her. No, no, no. So in this episode, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a soulmate for her. And probably off camera, if things don't succeed for her, I will go ahead and create a sim for her so that she can fall in love and have a man that she would be happy with and raise a family with and give a give aid and and grandchild and uh, ultimately she'll be able to perform better at work <laughs> Also, Mitchell is cheating on Julietta. 
No surprise. If that was loud, guys, I'm terribly sorry. Anyways, so let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Oh, wait. That's yours. So go to work. Wait, wait, hold up. You didn't amorously hug your wife before going saying goodbye? Hell no. You have a car, right? So fuck this shit. Yeah, you're already home. Why don't we go ahead, Morsley hug. Costume set. We can buy that. Oh, my shoes. sorry for her I really do I mean I really do actually you know what instead of going ahead and doing that why don't you X a guy out on a date okay I signed her up for the online dating profile thing if that works then who the hell knows No, don't send a love letter. What I meant to do is ask him out on date. And I don't even know how to f fudge you do that. Chat, text in. No, that's chat. Okay. No, stop. Okay, where are you? Here you are. Date. We need a date. So. Come. Oh, here it is. X out on date. Julieta de West doesn't know. That's a lie. She knows quite a few people. So, we're just gonna X out. Invite out. And see what happens. What do you... Who's up in a goody? Where the hell is it? Did it not come yet? I think it's right here. The, um... Fall... Uh, what is it? Summer? Spring? Spring festival? Yeah. Okay, we'll tr I don't... Yeah. We'll just try here. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's meet there. Coming from a guy's perspective, honestly, if I was a sin and I saw a girl like Julietta, mm -mm, no man, I would totally immediately be like, girl, give me your number. Let's go out. You're definitely marriage material. Cause look at her. She is literally fine. You have to be blind not to be thinking 
Julieta is not hot. She's got the breast of her mom, the attitude of her dad, and the personality of a star. She definitely got the lips of her mom. Okay, so we'll take care of the hygiene. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, who the hell is calling me? Or oh, what the? F <laughs> blah 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 blah. Okay. So Amber, what do you want to do, babe? You want to talk to your daughter, okay? Oh, did I tell you guys about that? She aged up. Definitely, we're going to make a promise to protect our daughter. Definitely. Nobody's going to hurt her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I didn't have a lot of good hair, custom content hair for her. I didn't. And, you know, I'm thinking, like, kids' stage, not that important. It's only when they begin to get into teenage years that I actually take active interest in their looks. Because, you know, she, they would be trying to go to prom and get boyfriends and all that stuff. But when you're, when you're a kid in The Sims 3, it's not that important that you have good looks. Because you won't be attracting boys. You'll just be mostly trying to good good grades in school and try to stay out of trouble as much as possible and what the fuck what the fuck it's broken are you serious got i'm not fixing it i'm i'm fuck that shit i'm not fixing it all right here we go Come on, Julietta. Let's go. So tell me in the comment section if you love Julietta's new hair look. Honestly, I'm just saying it's been cool. I love, I, I do, I love it, I love it, I love it a lot. And like I was saying, this should have been a late night episode because you would have like four badass sisters who think they're on top of the world, like Bad Girls Club. One girl falls in love with one man, that would be Amber, and the other three would just like be like girls with big attitudes and everything but I like I said um I have an idea for my late night LPs and I haven't heard back from you guys as to whether or not you like the idea so I'm taking it you don't but I'm gonna keep it going for a while and I hope that I get some responses from you guys um I want to I really want to know what you think about the twin evil brothers? One good, one bad, and whatnot. Okay, where's your boyfriend? Or your romantic interest? Where the fuck is he? Did he stood us up? Did he stood us up? That motherfucker better not stood us up. Where the fuck are you, man? Get your ass over here. I know you're hungry. What the f So, the parade didn't come yet? Oh my arm. I gotta pee. Sorry, I don't feel like coming over right now. And what the fuck do you mean? We literally wasted our hour coming here for you, and you don't feel like coming over?
You don't feel like coming over? Fuck you. I'm going home. Just missed out on a good opportunity, buddy. You don't know what you miss. You obviously don't know what you miss. You missed a one in a lifetime opportunity to be what with what are the hottest girls, etc. Okay. So can we? Yes. Give your daughter a hug. Give her a hug. Oh, <laughs> is that waffles? Actually, you know what? Because her husband did this for her. Husband, her husband was like, "I'm gonna give her this as a surprise to let her know how much I love her." Good job, Dominical. Why don't you have some waffles prepared by Mitchell? It looks delicious. And you know what? Single life forever, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. I mean, no love lost, no love found. Actually, that's a lie. There is love found. Mitchell is in love with Cortana, so that would be fair. Nope. Nope. You ain't getting a second chance. She's done with your ass. You only get strike one with Julieta. And uh, if you miss that strike, you ain't getting a second or third chance. Right, Julieta? So, why don't we go ahead and break up with you? What's his face? Where the hell is he? This is gonna be like really ridiculously. He's probably gonna hate us. But I don't give a damn. She's done with him. He's not the one. Okay. We're gonna break up. Anyways, we'll keep him around till he's actually in a relationship with Cortana. Then we'll kick his ass out. I tried to find. Wait a minute. I tried to find a way. 
for her to break up with him but stay friends because I don't want them to hate each other. She's been through a lot of guys and, um, you know, I don't want her to seem like a slut. Even though she does got that tattoo on her. Alright. Well, I guess there's no other way than to do it. Than to say goodbye. Audio. See you later. Sayonara. We're going to end this episode on a sad note. Oh, you guys, here it comes, here it comes. Mitchell doesn't have any idea what he's in for. Okay. Okay. Yeah, very sad indeed. Mitchell is hurt. I bet he is. I'm sorry. I'm not. Julieta, he's just not right for you. What do you want to... See? See? What I told you. This asshole is immediately like, okay. You break up with me, I'll go out with Katana. I'll, I'll sleep with her. I'll be girlfriends with her. He's not meant for you. And we can do that. You deserve better, Kanta. Uh, Julieta. Let's go get you something to eat, and you can talk to your sister. And actually, you know what? You can talk to your mother. Your mother is a better choice because your mom has a. Even though she doesn't have experience in that, she would be like, I understand. And this is what you need to do. <laughs> so, that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, if you like this episode, please leave a comment. Uh, like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And I... See you in my next Let's Play. Bye.